In this video, I'm going to show you five different ways that you can use artificial intelligence in the music classroom to enhance student writing. Hi, I'm Julia from GU Teaching Resources, and I'm a music teacher with over 20 years of experience in the music classroom for grades 7 to 12. Whether we like it or not, AI or artificial intelligence is becoming more and more commonplace in our lives. So why not bring it into the music classroom? In this video, I'm going to show you five different ways that you can use artificial intelligence in the classroom to enhance student writing, plus a few other things. By using AI-assisted tools, your music students will be able to complete a variety of tasks in the classroom. So come with me as we explore the world of AI in music education. ways to use artificial intelligence in the classroom to enhance student writing in music. So welcome. As I said, we're going to look at five ways that artificial intelligence can be used in the classroom. This is a hot topic at the moment as of the recording time, which is beginning of March in 2023. Um, as I said, this is something that is on the top of mind in a lot of educators' minds across the world, not just in the music classroom, but obviously that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So five different ways that you can use it without it being cheating, if that makes sense, because I think that's what a lot of people are scared of, that um, being able to use AI in the classroom, that students are actually cheating or not producing work themselves. But I think if you use it as a tool to help students improve their writing, I think you're on a different track there. And I think that can make it, it's something that all students have going to be able to have access to, whether we like it or not, and it's only going to increase. So the five different things are, as a tool for improving writing about music, from a paragraph to an essay, whether you're starting with year seven, maybe in um, as a paragraph, through to year 12 as an essay, as a way to quickly research a topic for a class presentation or assessment, it, it, it speeds up that process so quickly. As a planning tool for writing the script for a classroom presentation or assessment, again, another way to help with the process and speeding that up. As a way to provide feedback on a piece of extended writing, that is a game changer for us as teachers. And the last one, as a lyric writing tool for creating a song. And I'll show you one that came, came through when I did this. Um, it's a bit funny, but, you know, it's something to work from. Hi, I'm Julia from GU Teaching Resources, and my mission is to help busy music teachers like you in classrooms around the world with the resources you need to teach music appreciation to inspire the next generation of musicians. So artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence in the classroom, whether you're a fan or not, it's here to stay. Now is the time to embrace how it can be used as a teaching tool in the music classroom. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is a rapidly advancing technology with applications in all areas, including education. It has the potential to revolutionise how students learn music and compose their own pieces, which it has been for a while, but as I said, we're looking at some other things today. AI in the classroom can be used several ways from helping to improve student writing in music by providing feedback, speeding up the research process, as well as helping students craft and write meaningful classroom presentations. In this blog post or this video, we'll explore five ways that AI can be used to help students in the classroom. So the five ways to use artificial intelligence in the classroom are as a tool for improving writing about music from a paragraph through to an essay, as a way to quickly research a topic for a class presentation or assessment, as a planning tool for writing the script for a classroom presentation or assessment, as a way to provide feedback on a piece of extended writing, and the last one as a lyric tool for creating a song. So using AI in the classroom to improve student writing. So music educators and teachers are beginning to explore the potential of integrating artificial intelligence into music teaching. AI capabilities offer music educators new ways to assess and enhance student writing skills. 
For example, AI can detect mistakes in the written word, providing valuable and timely feedback to music students. In addition, AI can be used to provide targeted instruction that takes into account a student's needs and abilities when it comes to writing about music. This could lead to an increased capacity for music teachers to improve their students' overall writing proficiency. One of the best ways to use artificial intelligence in the classroom is not for the music student, but for you as the music teacher. And I can't stress that enough. It is for you, the music teacher. Use it as a tool. See it as your friend. Embrace it. Students learn best when they have an example to use when they are constructing their own writing about a topic. AI can help you to quickly generate a number of written samples for music students. You can use these samples as a basis for discussion about what is good or bad about each sample. This discussion will be invaluable to your students as they will be able to see exactly what is expected of them. And one of the best things about AI is that you can use it to generate simple sentences, paragraphs, or even whole essays. And that's the game changer there. You don't have to do the work. You don't have, you just have to go bang, 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 bang and it will spit something out at you. And honestly, some of it's great, some of it's not. And that's what you can use as a tool with your students. In another couple of videos, okay, I'm gonna be showing these in each of these individually, um, how you can actually do it. I'll do it in real time with you, but we're just talking about it overall as today. Of course, there are all the apps and tools out there for students to use that have been around for quite some time. So don't forget, these things have been around for some time. Things like Grammarly, WordTune, or even AutoCorrect aid the student in simple ways to make sure that their writing is free of simple errors. Now, that's obviously not in exam situations because I know that um, here in um, Australia, the um, what they call NAPLAN, that um, nationwide testing, it's gone online but the students, there's no autocorrect in available for them. So being able to get students to improve their writing still in the classroom is something you're going to have to do. Whether you like it or not, as a music teacher, we are still all teachers of literacy. The second one, using AI in the classroom as a research tool. So another simple way that AI can be used in the classroom is through research of a topic. To make this more effective, you'll need to show your music students how to write a prompt or command to get the best results. And that is a trick. And again, I'm going to show you how to do that in another video. This is just when we all had to learn how to best search for something in Google. Remember, we all, you know, our searches would be pretty um, we'd get some really weird results because we didn't narrow our search down or make it very specific. And that's what we're going to have to be able to teach our students when we're looking at using AI tools, how to narrow down or give the, um, the AI a prompt that will give you a good result. Okay. You need to be specific and get the information you need. One of the best ways to get the information that you and your music students need is to use good questioning techniques. If you only need a simple answer, then use a simple question. But if you want a more in-depth answer, you need a better question. Now, Bloom's taxonomy, as we know, it's been around for years. Some of you might use Alarm, the Alarm, a learning and responding matrix, um, which again is another whole other topic that I'm not going to get into. Um, but it's about getting those good questions. And if you have um, a topic and you say to the kids, all right, what are we actually looking for? And then you look at the questions and then you put that into AI and see what results you get. And honestly, as an experiment, it'd be really good to actually do different levels of questions with the kids on in terms of different levels of Bloom's questions on the same topic and see what results you get. Again, another tool for you in the classroom to see what, you know, and show the kids what uh, um, is the difference between the different levels of questioning. So using Bloom's taxonomy will help your students to construct a good question to hopefully get the answer and research they need quickly. For example, if your students want to know something about classical music, then they need to really think about what do they exactly want to know. A search prompt in AI such as what is classical music will only get a surface level response because it's too much, too much information. However, if they use a question like, what has been the impact of classical music on the development of the orchestra, which is very specific, well, then the answer that and AI generated research will be very, very different. So again, it's that level of question and level of prompt that you give the AI to get the response you want. And again, and that is just then as a basis for something else that you want to keep going with. 
Please note that there are lots of limitations to the types of AI research that can be provided. So as of the time of recording, so this is, is in March of 2023, so as of the time of writing, okay, or when this was actually written, AI was using data collected up to 2021. This is that chat GPT. Now, there are different versions of things coming out, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. This means that mo the most research, recent information and research that a student might need does not exist in the system. Take that into, into account. You also need to show your students how to check for the accuracy of the information that AI gives them because I've done this myself and the information that it spat out at me was totally incorrect totally incorrect. So when Google recently tested their own version of AR, AI called BARD, the public demonstration yielded very incorrect results, making the Google shares take a big dive on the stock market. So it is still a tool. It is not something to rely upon. And I think we need to be able to, as educators, show our kids that this is a tool, definitely a tool, but how can you use it to get better at what you are doing? Okay, so the next one, using AI in the classroom for classroom presentations and assessments. Again, as a tool, using artificial intelligence in the classroom as part of the presentation assessment process can be another way to use this technology to both you and your students' advantage. See the following steps, which I'm going to talk, show you in a moment, that AI could potentially be used to complete a music assessment for a speech or extended piece of writing. Now, if you're not a music teacher and you happen to be watching this, it can be used for any topic, okay? I just happen to come from the music approach because that's what I teach. All right, so let's talk about the steps. So firstly, decide on a topic to be researched and presented. Okay, hopefully you've got some sort of assessment and the kids have already got something they're working towards. Create a set of questions to use in the AI research process using AI. And this is where that Bloom's taxonomy would come in. Set of questions, what are we actually looking for? Think broadly. Use AI to research all the questions and keep a record in a document. Now, personally, this is how I would be getting my kids to actually document the process of using AI and see where they what they started with and where they ended up. Again, as a tool. Student critically analyzes and checks the information, makes judgments about which research can or cannot be used in the presentation. Now, this would be better, obviously, for a type of um, history type of assessment, you know, maybe the history of the microphone or, you know, I don't know anything classical music doesn't matter okay a biography on a music musician or composer something like that then the student then writes the speech presentation or speech they can after they've actually written it themselves right use ai to check for mistakes using tools that are available such as grammarly word tune or even just autocorrect now that word tune one is another freebie it's an extension that you can put onto chrome so i'm not sure they'll be able to use that at school but they should be able to use that at home if they have access to um obviously to technology but word tune is one of those little things it's a, a chrome extension and it, and it checks things you only get so many free searches a day um so you have to show them to be very um discerning about what they put in there because otherwise you use up those free searches very very quickly students could use ai to check for feedback using the rubric provided for the assessment and student makes any adjustments as required and then students submit the assessment now you can see here that ai again is not getting them to act, not actually writing the assessment for them it is a tool to help them uh, again i cannot stress that enough that it is a tool to get hopefully the best results for your kids because if they're using this all the way along hopefully they'll get that now i happen to be watching a webinar um uh, on the in a facebook group um, i think it's ai in the classroom uh, go and join it. it's really interesting but they did a presentation and this um educator from britain he actually um, does a lot with uh, universities and how trying to navigate it. They've got a book coming out. I can't remember what it's called, but it's coming out soon. Um, but he actually did um, put in a, a student's essay and the marking rubric, and it spat out the feedback that that for that actual essay. So as a teacher, you'd look at it and you go, oh, actually, I like that feedback. We might use bits and pieces. But as a student, they could look at that feedback and go, okay, this is telling me that I need to do X, Y, Z. So if I do that, hopefully I'll get a better result. Again, but 
I'd be getting kids to actually put all this into a document. This is the what I put into AI. This is the feedback I got. This is the results. Um, this is what I changed as a result of this. Okay, so again, that process and against that critical thinking skills. So this is, of course, a very simplified set of steps for how a student could use AI in their research and presentation of an assessment. Personally, as I said, I've already said it, but I'd ask my students to keep all drafts and information they collect in an assessment diary that they then ask and ask them to annotate the research, justifying why they chose to keep some parts and discard others. Your students could even use digital avatars to record and present their work. Now, again, this particular webinar is talking about this. Um, one of the ladies that was actually presenting, she talked about um, app smashing. <laughs> I love the term, but using a variety of apps to complete an assessment. I was like, yes. And look, let's face it, our kids know all the different things that they can use. So why not let them use it? Why not let them embrace that technology that's available to them? Because it's only going to get better and it's only going to be um, something that they will need in the future themselves anyway. Now, if you're looking for some assessment ideas, okay, for your students, I've got another video on this channel called Seven Creative Research of Music Assessment Ideas for Your Music Class. And I've also got another video about the different topic areas. I think I gave you 15, but within that 15, there's stacks. So again, talking about assessment ideas, here's some for you. Don't have to reinvent the wheel. Go and have a watch. Go and have a think about what you might be able to use with your students in your classroom and um, go from there. But as I said, I'm just giving you information, which again is tools to help you. Now, this next one could be a game changer, and it'd be interesting to see how this is actually rolled out and how um, teachers might embrace this. So using AI in the classroom to provide feedback. So as a music teacher, you know the importance of timely feedback with your students. You know that providing feedback is an, is an essential part of music teaching. Now with the emergence of artificial intelligence in the classroom, music teachers can find new ways to provide real-time feedback to their students. AI-powered technology can help music educators assess each student's performance and accurately, pro accurately provide meaningful feedback that they can use to improve their techniques. Now, that is just for performance. And let's face it, there is so much out there that's um, that this sort of stuff has been going on for quite a while, especially in the music classroom. I know people are going, oh, scary, scary. But kids have been using this sort of stuff for timely feedback for a long time. There are so many apps out there. I'm not even going to talk about like how many is there, but um, I, I'm thinking about my keyboard players and how many times that they know that they've actually done the wrong note because it, it'll actually tell them. It's, you know, it's like a game. Um, the good old SingStar and stuff that, you know, you could see if it was right or wrong. You know, with the ability to gain insights into a student's um, performance, With the ability to gain insights into a student's performance, music teachers can better understand individual learning styles and tailor their instruction accordingly. This technology provides powerful possibilities for music education and allows music teachers to reach new levels of engagement with their students. Again, there's so many ways. And in another video, I'm going to show you how to actually, hopefully the live demonstration works um, on how you can actually provide feedback for the kids. For a long time now, a lot of music making has been gamified, which is what I was just sort of talking about. Remember using the um, Wii and Rock Band or SingStar? Okay, both of those games gave the player immediate feedback on how they were progressing in the song. There are so many apps out there for music students, especially piano and keyboard players, where they can get immediate feedback on how correctly they are performing a piece of music. These apps or games give feedback on correct timing and pitch, and the music student can quickly and easily try again to master the song. And I'm sure you as a music teacher, you've seen them out there. Um, I know when I go on to, um, uh, like I keep on getting ads about, you know, playing and how to play keyboard and it it game it says it's gamified and it shows you know someone going from a very basic song to a more um, advanced version of it look embrace it it's already helping for feedback another way that ai can be used to provide feedback in a timely manner is by having the students submit their writing into an ai tool these tools can improve sentences grammar spelling 
paragraph, and even a whole essay. Students can quickly use these tools to correct and improve their writing before submission to the teacher. It is advisable to show your students how to do this by using the marking guidelines that are provided in the assessment. And that's why it's so important to have really good marking guidelines in your rubrics so that kids understand, okay, what it, what the difference is. And again, I'm going to be showing you how to do this and, and ways that your students could use this. There's just so many ways it can be done. And, and hopefully it's just, you've got to be able to teach your kids how to actually embrace it and use it critically. Okay, what's good, what's not. Now, this next one's a fun one. Okay, so using AI to write song lyrics. Now, I had a bit of a go at this and you'll see one in a minute. Um, and it's a bit it's a bit funny because, look, I can't write um, song lyrics to save my life. I just can't. I can write a melody. I can come up with a decent chord progression. <laughs> Don't ask me to do song and lyrics. I just can't do it. So the last and most fun way to use artificial intelligence in the classroom is to have, have it write song lyrics. A lot of students struggle to write lyrics, I'm included, to a song, but with AI, this stumbling, blo stumbling block is easily removed. So a word of warning, to get the best out of AI as a song lyric writing tool, it is best to give it explicit instructions as a guide. For example, if you are creating a 12-bar blues composition with your class then you you need to make sure that you add that command or prompt into what you're putting in okay um you'll see why in a minute so i'm going to show you an example so what i put in is the command was create song lyrics about going to school on a bus in the 12 bar blues format now when i'm teaching the 12 bar blues which is usually later in the year for me okay we actually, I'd show them how to, what it sounds like, but we come up with a song and we actually write a song and then I sing it to them and they, they think it's hilarious. Um, but that's the whole idea. It just gets them to remember it. And we come up with song lyrics, okay? Now, this is another way that we could um, actually use this tool when teaching about 12 Bar Blues and then get the kids to compose their own. So can come up that with their actual own version of their 12 Bar Blues or whatever happens, whatever song structure you're actually using. So this is what it spat out at me. I haven't edited this. This is what it says. Verse one, I'm riding the bus to school on a sunny day, going to learn something new and it won't be so bad. Listen to the engine rumbling as we drive along. The teacher's waiting. I can hear his song. Mm, sort of fits. Bluesy beat of the bus come to carry us away. To school we go for another fun-filled day. Passing by the houses and all the trees outside, going to learn something new with a smile on my face inside. So, you know, I'd be using this as, okay, well, does it work, doesn't it? What can we change, again, as a tool, as a starting point? My friends and me, we take the same bus every day. We laugh and joke, but it's still so hard to stay awake. The ride is bumpy, but the morning sun helps us see, sitting on the bus as our destination comes closer to me. Now, again, if I had put in um, the 12 Bar Blues structure, like, you know, the, the rhyming structure, that maybe I would have got a different result. But this is what I said, it spat out to me. And then, of course, it's the chorus again. And then verse three, it has, the windows give us a view of where we are headed, glistening through the glass like an artist painted them red. The driver steers us through the town without any sound from one world to another as everything around us gets more profound. I think my year sevens would look at that and go, I don't know what they're talking about, miss. I would agree. So bluesy beat of the bus come to carry us away. To school we go for another fun-filled day, passing by the houses and all the trees outside, going to learn something new with a smile on my face inside. So I don't mind the chorus. I think the chorus is actually all right, but the verses obviously need a bit of work. <laughs> you get that. Is it perfect? No. But could this be used as a teaching tool to construct a class composition and performance using these lyrics? Most definitely. And that's, I think, what you've got to remember, that AI is a tool for you to use in the classroom. As technology continues to evolve, music educators will have access to more powerful tools than ever before when it comes to teaching writing skills in the music in music classes. From providing immediate feedback on assignments to creating unique song lyrics with ease, there are many ways you can leverage artificial intelligence in the classroom using this technology in your music classroom today. By using these innovative tools, you can give your music students the best possible chance to becoming great writers by providing them with personalized instruction and opportunities for creative exploration. 
Now, if you'd like some more ideas on how to make your music classes more interesting and fun for your students, try these five ways to make over your music curriculum download. Go there to juliajulia.com forward slash make over your music curriculum and you'll get yourself um, access to a free download. Of course, if you'd like to know more about the elements of music or anything else, I've got, um, or even if you prefer the written form of this video, go to juliajulia.com and you'll be able to find it there. And looking to buy some more music resources, you can find all the resources that I um I actually haven't talked about any resources in this particular assess in this. Looking to buy some music resources, you can find all of the resources mentioned in this video by going to my Teachers Pay Teacher Store, do your teaching resources. As I said, pop over to um, TPT, go and have a look. If you search my, um, put that in, you'll get to my store and I've got about 600 odd products there ready for you to use in your music classroom. And if you'd like another freebie, okay, all about the elements of music, there's the mind maps there. Um, use the link juliajulia.com forward slash free mind maps. And again, those mind maps are the ones that are used in all my blog posts and they're just blank versions of them. A fantastic teaching tool um, and ways that you could use them in the classroom. And if you made it this far to the end, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. I hope this video has been helpful in providing ways that you can use AI and embrace it in the classroom because it is here to stay. It, we've got to be able to show our kids how we can use this, how they can use this, because it is something that people are using left, right and centre, and I don't see it going away anytime soon. I think there's just going to be um, an evolution or of how we actually use it in the classroom and how it's actually approached and what is acceptable and what isn't. And until all that happens, use it as a tool, show your kids the benefits of it, show them the downfalls of it and the limitations of it, because, you know, it, it can't give um, everything perfectly and it certainly doesn't write in um, with emotion. All right, so there's things that you can actually do to help your kids with writing and, and using AI in the music classroom. Until next time, I'm Julia from Julia Teaching Resources. Happy teaching. Bye.